Hey guys, uh, welcome to my channel Data Driven Decision. In this channel, I talk about the data science and machine learning kind of stuff. If you are down for that, please subscribe to my channel and see different kind of awesome videos I make for data science. So today's topic is all about the uh, soft max function. Okay, soft max function. So what is mean by the softmax function and why we are going to use this softmax function so first of all i would like to tell you this that the softmax function is only needed when where there is a uh, classification problem with a multi class classification problem suppose in this particular uh, classification problem if it is a binary classification problem okay so binary classification problem what happened is that your output is like 0 1 0 1 okay so you are getting a probability of around 10 percent uh around uh, 90 percent around uh, like 20 percent so you are getting different different probabilities basically okay this is 10 percent so what happened is that if you want to find out the other probability in that case what you can do is that you can just subtract it like there is a probability of 100 percent maximum can happen suppose uh, for zero class it is 10 percent probability for one class what it will do minus 10 percent you are getting the 90 percent probability okay for one it is 90 percent so 100 minus 90 it is going to give you around 10 percent probability okay so it is 20 percent so 100 minus 20 it is going to give you around 80 percent probability and this 10 percent so 100 minus 10 it is going to give you around uh, 90 percent probability okay so you're getting different different probabilities uh, for a binary class classification problem you can easily find out find out the probability of other class probability for binary uh, classification problem so suppose for the uh, like multi-class classification problem what happened is that uh, So suppose it's a uh, multi-class problem so for multi-class problem okay so for multi-class problem what happened is that for multi-class uh, you're getting suppose uh, for an example here i'm taking around only three classes so here zero there is a one there is a two okay so for this you are getting around like 10 percent probability for uh 20 percent probability here you're getting around 80 percent probability but with respect to the other classes you are not able to find the probabilities so the probabilities which you are getting over here it's only the individual probabilities over here it is not like you just subtract 100 minus 10 you are going to get the 80 percent probability and that is for the other class one or two it is not the situation over here to make the situation similar to that earlier situation or earlier uh, earlier scenario basically so if you just subtract from the 100 you are getting the other probabilities what you can do is that you can use the softmax function so softmax function what it does is that it just normalizes it just normalizes the all the probabilities so the sum of all the probabilities would be one basically so 100 percent so the formula would be around e to the power z i by sum of e to the power z k okay k equal to j to n okay so to give you the example suppose here zero probability is 10 percent okay so it will be e to the power 0.1 by e to the power 0 0.1 plus e to the power 0 0.2 plus e to the power 0 0.8 okay so this is the probabilities and you are getting around suppose uh 20 percent probability you are getting so for one also for one what will be the value e to the power 0 0.2 by e to the power 0 0.1 plus e to the power 0 0.2 plus e to the power 0 0.8 so 
so this is the values you'll get so it is it will be around like 30 percent okay so suppose for class 2 it will be automatically around like 50 percent like 20 plus 30 so 100 minus 50 will be around 50 percent <clears throat> so this softmax function basically normalize all the values and uh, like just some of all the probabilities would be one basically. so in that way it is much more easier for the humans to understand what is the respective probabilities of a particular class to be in this scenario and also uh, like uh, for the calculation purpose also suppose for multi-class classification problem you are using the binary cross entropy or cross entropy function actually so in that case uh, if you normalize the values and you can calculate the cross entropy function it is be much more easier for the model to understand the loss function and uh, to calculate the uh, different different uh, values for every iteration so if you don't know the uh, cross entropy i have just put the uh, card over here you can just check that out and uh, i hope you like this video if you like it please subscribe to my channel and see different kind of videos i make for data science and if you have any suggestions or uh, any thoughts please put put it down in the comment below i'll be happy to address them thank you